Today we are going to discuss our second chapter, Dynamic Web Page in HTML5. In this chapter, we will learn embedding audio, video, and frame set, learn JavaScript, creating web page with JavaScript, input and output in JavaScript. Friends, in the previous class, we have discussed that how to create an HTML document, how to insert list, tables, and forms in a web page. In this chapter, we are going to focus on how to import audio and video in HTML. Using the import tag or the video tag, we are inserting audio or video in web page. So, let's see how to add the import tag in HTML document and how we can get the output with a video in our web page. Let's see. Here I open the notepad. Then write the document program. In this, in this line here, open the input tag, then add the attribute src equal to open double quotes. Here we have to write the path of the video which we are trying to insert. Here I try to insert the video which is a present in my laptop which is white line just right click on the video select copy as path or you can take properties okay properties and just copy the path or either you can take copy as path okay then take our notepad document just connect place control V here okay next we want to add the width and height of the document here width is 500 and height is 400 given we can also add the same width and height in our document okay okay here we copied the video path next you have to save the document click on save button here I am saving the HTML document on my desktop itself. Take on the desktop, then just give a name wildlife dot HTML. Let's see the web page. Double click on the document. Here the video is added. Just click on play button. Okay, you can see the video here. This is the way how we add video in HTML document. Okay. Next, we can discuss how to insert image in HTML. A web page with images attract the users to that website. Okay. So, using the IMG image tag, we can insert images. The images put into a web page are called inline images. Along with the IMG tag, we have to give the attributes also. SRC is one attribute which is used to specify the name and location or the URL of the images you want to insert. For example, IMG SRC equal to dance.jpg. Okay. Also, if you want to align, you want to mention the position of the image, you can use the attribute align. Align equal to right or left. Okay. Similarly, you can use top, middle, bottom, etc. position. Next is edge space attribute. Edge space means horizontal space. Horizontal space. Okay. This attribute specifies the horizontal space around the image. Same way V space which specifies the vertical space. So we can use the attribute V space. And next is width attribute. If you want to specify the width of an image, we can use the attribute width. Okay. Next we can go through one program using the uh, that how to insert the image tag along with its attribute width align p space edge space okay this uh, like this we can create one document okay so just uh, write the html codes in our notepad click on new tab Here we have to give the location and name of the image which is present on our system. Okay. 
Okay, here I click on D drive. Just click on the images folder. I just copied one images path here. Just copy it on the image tab. Okay, here I added path of first image. Same way you can add the path of second image also. Take the images folder. Here I copied the path of second image. Now let's see the document. Just click on save. Here I am saving the document in desktop itself. Giving image.html. <coughs> click on save button. Okay, now we can double click the document here. Okay. Here we inserted two images using attributes align v space x space etc okay next we can move on to frames frames table is a component of a web page table means which can divide the data into number of rows and columns a frame enables the user to divide a page into number of rectangular regions or windows in various sizes a page can have one or more frames using the frame set tab we can add frames to our web page so let's see program using frame set tag here html tag is open then open the head tag title tag then use the frame set calls you can give one value here calls for calls and rows attribute then you have to insert one path of in html document okay here frame src equal to here you have to insert the web page address which you have already created here we already created two web pages one is for wildlife showing the input video document and another web page is using the uh, image attribute okay Using image tag, we had created another HTML document. So, we can apply that document's path here. Here, one frame is added. Here, the page is divided into four frames. So, here we are going to add one frame on one uh, frame tag. Sorry, one HTML document web page address here. And uh, second web page address we can give here. Third web page address we can give. And the fourth web page address is you, we can, you can give any other uh, web pages here google's address is added so we can try this here i input the codes here here i open frame set tag then give the values for calls and rows then i inserted the web page which we have already created which is image using image attribute we had the copy this web page address from here for one frame set tag and copy the second web page address for the second frame set tag which I added here and third one you can give any other or if uh, it is not necessary okay just we have to see the page splitting okay and the fourth frame tag uh, and for the fourth frame tag I had given the Google address okay so just copy save this document using frame.html file name and then just double click this okay here you can see the page is split into four here i already given four web pages address fourth one i just uh, give a dummy id that's why it is not possible okay so no problem here we have the scrolling id also okay you can move the scrollers okay this is the way how frame tag is applied Next, we can move on to JavaScript. JavaScript is actually a scripting language. If we want to make the HTML document more interactive and dynamic in nature, uh, we can use the JavaScript scripting language. JavaScript is used both on the client side and server side. The features of JavaScript is given. It is used both on the client side and server side. Also, JavaScript uses the gives the user enhanced control 
it has used with HTML code and run now web browsers which is case sensitive okay so we can use the uh, JavaScript in two ways both internally and externally we can see how internal JavaScript internal JavaScript code is code that is placed anywhere within the web page between the HTML tags which means we can give the JavaScript code uh, can be placed in the head section or can be placed in the body section just you can apply it on anywhere in the web page okay this is the script, uh, syntax head script javascript code then close the script tag close the head tag both body script using the script tag we are inserting the internal javascript okay next is external javascript can be written in the file and save with the extension dot js we have to uh, just click on the save with dot js extension okay after creating it through the html file in the script tag the SRFC attribute is used to import the external javascript file here first js is the external javascript file creating web page with internal javascript here type script type equal to text bar javascript between the head tag close head tag use the alert method alert function here we are using the alert method to display which alert box that contains some specified message and then ok button here the program is html head title you can give my first javascript here then script using the script tag you can give the javascript code here script type equal to text bar javascript then to see an alert message which is hello world we need to get an output like this this page says hello world for that we have to insert hello world and close the script tag okay so we can apply this in a html document open the document type the html code here okay just click on save button click on desktop i just turn it js internal js dot html okay just click on save button just double click on this here we can say see the alert box here where it says hello this is internal javascript okay creating web page with external javascript let's see to use the external javascript first open the notepad and type hello hello world then save the file with .js extension open another notepad and type the following code html head title my first javascript close title then add the external javascript link script type equal to text bar javascript and src equal to external .js. this is the external javascript file here we attach the uh, location of this external javascript file then close the script close head close body then inside the body section you have to write this message box is displayed using external javascript close body close html then save the file with dot html extension and open the web page in web browser this is the output that we will get when we use the external javascript so let's check it first let's open the notepad then type hello hello world save the file with .js extension file save click the destination give the file name external.js save it on desktop then open another notepad and write the program inside the body tag you have to give the message this message box is displayed using external javascript then close body tag close html then save the file with dot html extension here you can give the name ext ext dot 
HTML. Any file name you can give. Save it on desktop. Click save. Then open the web page. Here the message is displayed. This is the way how we use external JavaScript in a program. Next is statements in JavaScript. Statements are the programming instructions written in a program in a JavaScript. And, and a collection of statements is called a script or a program. JavaScript statements are composed of values, operators, expressions, keywords and comments. Keywords. Keywords here we have. Keyword is a reserved word that has special meaning for the JavaScript. Vars which led for const function if return etc. are examples. Variable means it is a name of storage location. Var variable name equal to value. Var is the keyword and variable name is a valid name for the variable. For example, here to try to insert age, we have to give the var age equal to value 16. Var name equal to a. If it is string, we have to insert it in double block. Okay. Next is operators. Operators we know they are used to perform uh, mathematical and logical computations. Expressions we know it is a valid unit of form. For example, A equal to B plus C. Comments we know single line comments, multi line comments. Input and output in JavaScript. In JavaScript we use the prompt function to ask the user for input. Prompt function here where age equal to prompt enter your age. When the proceeding statement is executed, a prompt box will appear in the web browser asking to input the age. By default, the input taken by the prompt method is considered as a string in JavaScript. If you want to perform some mathematical calculations, then you have to convert the value into an integer by using the pass int method. So, var num equal to pass int prompt enter first number. Document.write method is used to display the output of the web page. For example, document.write hello from JavaScript. Now, let us create a web page to calculate sum of two numbers. Here, add, here, add the quotes HTML head title statements in JavaScript. Close head tag. Open the body tag. Then use the script tag. Script type equal to text bar javascript where here we are uh, here we have find the sum of two numbers for that we have to give the so here we use the var keyword space a equal to pass int here we have to get the integer number here we need to get the number so we are using pass int method pass int prompt enter first number pass int prompt enter second number var c here we are using the expression c equal to a plus b for getting the output, we are using document.write sum of a and b. Then document.write c. Close the script tab, close the body tag and close html. So let us create a web page using this code. Open the notepad. Write the code here. Then click on save button. Give the destination. Here I am giving statements. Click on save button, double click on here, we can see the instruction, enter first number, here I am giving 20, click on ok, next we shown enter second number, here I give it 30, here the value is displayed, sum of A and B is 50, ok, here this is the way how we are inserting statements. That's all about this chapter, thank you.